Welcome back to Behold and Resold. My name is Courtney and I'm a part-time reseller, which means that in addition to a normal daytime job, I like to buy things for cheap and sell them for a profit. And today I'm going to show you a haul that I got in a pallet that I recently purchased for $743. And wow, does it have a lot of potential. Stay to the end uh, to hear what the, that potential profit is. But first, let's chat about this pallet. I had to drive three hours to go pick up this pallet, and then three hours back. And during that time, I meant to get some video clips that I could share with you. But in all the excitement, I totally forgot to do that. Hashtag newbie YouTuber. So all I have are a few pictures that I took when I got back home. And let me show them to you. The pallet you see here is basically a giant box with tons of stuff piled in it. This particular pallet is full of Walmart store returns, and there's a lot of them. My wife and I pulled all of the items out and organized them into piles. Things like tablets, a pile for tools, a pile for electronics, a pile for kitchen, a pile for seasonal stuff, and so on. We then prioritized the piles to know the order that we wanted to process them in. That way we could get the higher dollar and quicker selling items listed first to start earning our money back quick. It took a week and a half for my wife and I to inspect, test, delabel, take pictures, and create listings and post them on eBay. Uh, but before I get to showing you what all the items I got in this pallet are, uh, let me give you a quick little update. In one of my other recent videos, I showed off my inventory solution. And well, I've added a few more bins. I now have 15 of them, and Soon I'll be adding a, a shelf along the top as well. I also bought a bigger and better table for processing orders. It's much taller, so it's about 35 inches high, and that makes it a lot better for packaging up items or typing on the computer. My back definitely appreciates that. And speaking of the computer, it's actually just an 11 inch Android tablet with an in integrated keyboard that detaches. And this tablet and keyboard combo actually came in the palette that we're going to be talking about right now. So that tablet was one of 18 Walmart own branded tablets that were in the palette. There were there was one other 11 inch uh, that I'll be selling. Then there were uh, there was three 10 inch ones. Um, so three of those. There were three regular 8 inch uh, tablets, and then there were three uh, kids 8-inch tablets that have a pink case. There was three of these ones. And then there were three um, three of the 7-inch ones. So, a little bit smaller. The three other tablets actually had cracked screens, and I've already purchased the replacement screens to fix them um, because the screens themselves weren't too much. So I ordered those, I already have them in. I have not repaired them yet, but I plan on doing that soon. Then as far as prices on these tablets, I have the 11 inch one that I'm selling. I have that listed for 140. The 10 inch ones I have listed for 75. The eight, regular eight inch ones I have listed for 50. Uh, the 8 inch ones that have the pink case, I have those listed for 60 or 65 I believe. And then the 7 inch ones I have listed for 40 or 45. Alright, and then besides all those tablets, uh, the next thing I got was this cordless hand mixer. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's, it's rechargeable and it's actually pretty nice. I have this listed I think for 33 And then I have two of these insulated divided uh, food containers. Um, I don't know if you can see uh, right here. Um, there's a crack in the lid. The other one has a crack in a different spot in the lid, but both of them, they still seal. So they would work just fine. It just doesn't look that great, but I'm still going to sell them. Um, and so I have them listed fairly cheap, I think for like seven bucks each. So I'm sure someone can make use of them. All right, and next up I have this Westinghouse Security uh, Floodlight. It's solar powered. It's actually really cool. It's brand new, uh, just an open box item. 
And so I have uh, this going for $30. And the next up I have a matching pair of these heated blankets. They are 12 volts, so they plug into your car and, and I guess that way you can stay comfortable and warm in the cold weather. But I have these listed as a pair for $20 plus shipping. And actually, all the prices that I'm telling you today, um, everything is, is plus shipping. So. so moving down to the next bin, I have another 12 volt heated blanket. This one's different. It's a Goodyear 12 volt plush and Sherpa uh, heated blanket. It's super soft. I mean, this thing is really nice. Um, but I have this listed for $20 as well, plus shipping. All right, and I have another security light. This one is a Hyper Tough Solar uh, LED security light. Um, again, looks appears to be new, just open box item. Uh, so I have this one going for $20 plus shipping. And then I have this, uh, it's a Walmart owned branded uh, universal laptop charger. Um, not all the parts are here, this is just like the brick and um, plug that goes into your laptop. It's missing the actual plug that goes into the wall and plugs into this. And it's supposed to also have like 10 interchangeable tips so that way depending on what kind of laptop you have. Um, I'm still going to try to sell this for parts um, for 10 bucks. Um, you never know. And then I also have just a, a 12 volt um, battery charger. Uh, for hyper tough batteries. Uh, this, this came with a tool that uh, wasn't working so I'm, I'm just gonna part it out and sell the charger. Actually I just realized I don't have this listed so it's a good thing that we're going through this <laughs> with me so um, I don't remember what I was going to this for I'll have to double check but it's probably like five or ten bucks. Alright so that's for it for that bin. Going into the next bin, the C1 bin. Uh, we have a Hart brand um, battery operated reciprocating saw. Has one blade, I just have it taped in a piece of cardboard up here. Um, we are going to sell this for uh, $35. <clears throat> we have a nice hyper tough uh, 12 volt uh, cordless angle grinder. Really nice. Uh, again, just an open box item. And this is going to go for. $40. And we have a digital tire inflator. Uh, it's one of these that you can kind of take in your car. Plugs into your uh, DC outlet in your car and then you can air up your tires if you need to. Um, but this will go for $25. Right, another tool we got a 3.5 amp jigsaw, corded jigsaw. jigsaw. Um, so I have that listed for $19.49. Then we have this tabletop TV stand. It's a uh, own branded, you know, Walmart's brand. Works for 37 to 70 inch TVs. I did look at it. It has all the hardware to put it together inside, but it is missing some of the hardware to attach your TV. So it depends on, on what kind of TV you have and what hardware it takes. And, it, and it's missing some of that, but it's stuff that you can get at a local hardware store. So someone might pick this up. I currently have it listed for ten bucks. So, all right. And in B5 we have this uh, toy kind of truck car carrier uh, item that has twelve cars inside, and then there's a case on the other side that can hold twelve more of your own cars. So, I was a brand new, still on its packaging. Uh, when I was looking this up, this had all kinds of comps all, all over the place. I could find similar things, but it was hard to find this exact one. But prices were all over. And I was kind of surprised at some of them because it seemed really high. But what I decided to list it for was $15. All right, and then we just have a simple uh, Walmart branded um, wired mouse, six or seven bucks. And here we have a like a checkered kind of a plaid harvest fabric tablecloth. Um, it's 60 by 102 inches, so brand new, still still in its wrap. Um, so we have that going for $15. Then we have a couple. Uh, I was gonna say old TV antennas, I and mean, they're obviously new, but 
It's like the old style uh, rabbit ears that were very common back uh, when I was a kid. So there's still people who use them, they still work. And so I have a couple of these. I have each of them listed for about six bucks. So we have this dual port USB wall plug. One of the ports is 20 watt and the other is 12 watt. Uh, I believe the 20 watt is USB-C and the 12 watt is USB-A. Um, so not much, but I have that for 12 or $13. Okay, and then we have several, I think I have four of these. Just another wall plug, uh, Anchor branded USB-C um, port on it. And it's a, I think it's another 20, yeah, 20, 20 watt uh, power plug there. I have each of them listed for about nine bucks. And we have some power banks, some portable chargers. This one's 8,000 watt. I have several of these. Um, so I'm listing. So I have these ones just list for 550. A bunch of those available. All right, and then I have a 5,000 milliamp hour uh, portable power bank. This one is a wireless charger and so it has suction cups on it that'll stick to your phone. It's actually kind of cool. I thought about keeping that one, but uh, this one I have listed for, I think a little bit more. Yeah, this one I have listed for a little bit more. I have it listed for like $9.50. All right, who wants some tacos? I got the taco stands to go with them. So I'm selling these as a set. There's two taco stands uh, and two dipping um, bowls in each. Um, so it's basically a service for four. So I'm selling them as a set for $20. All right, next up we have some uh, Bluetooth earbuds. These are Walmart brand own Groove wireless earphones. And I have these listed for $15. These are Alltech Lansing Nano Buds 2.0. And uh, this one's a mint color. And I have this one's a mint color, and I have it listed for about $11. Somewhere else I have another one I think is black. Alright, and I just have a HyperTuff 37 piece um, impact rated screwdriver bit set. The only thing wrong with this is that the little latch on the side is missing, so it doesn't lock shut. But otherwise, everything's in here uh, brand new. Um, not much on this one, it's just $5. So, pretty cheap. Okay, and then we have another type of uh, tire pump. This is a rechargeable bicycle tire inflator. Uh, this, this I have listed for $20. Alright, moving on to bin B3. We have a, an own Walmart branded USB mouse, wired mouse. So, I have it listed for $10. We'll see. Alright, then I think I have about five of these. They're they're Daisy brand um, slingshot replacements, so it's the band or whatever. It's the replacements for them. So I have them. I have them listed for five a piece. All right. Next up is a, another Bluetooth earbuds. These are Pro Buds V2. Um, they're pretty nice. I tested them out and they sound pretty decent for a for a cheap pair of Bluetooth earbuds. Um, I have these going. I have these going for ten dollars. Actually, I already sold one. I think two of these. I sold one black one like this, and I've sold a, a white one as well. Okay. And we have a, an Ozark Trail five-piece combo set. So it has a seven-inch folding knife, a five-point-three-two inch folding knife, four-inch wrench knife a 3.15 inch no touch tool and an 18 in one multi-tool so it's kind of nice so i'm selling that for ten dollars all right then i have another sort of wall charger plug um, this one's a usb-c 20 watt uh, one port plug and so have that listed for five dollars Okay, and then another uh, portable power bank. Uh, this was a 5,000 milliamp hour. So I have that one for seven or eight bucks. I have a, a pair of wireless earbuds. These ones are ones that have that, uh, like the cord that goes around your neck and then the buds go up to your ear. Um, so I have these listed for 10 bucks. 
Next up we have this uh, Philips dimmable LED lights, pack of three. And these are listed for $18. All right, moving on to the next bin. We have uh, a Luma strip, which is a six and a half foot um, strip of LEDs. Has a remote, so that way you can change the colors and have different functions. Um, this I have listed for, I think, seven fifty. All right, next we have this wireless speaker. It's very heavy weight. It actually is pretty nice and sounds really good. And if you had two of these, you could pair them together to give you stereo sound, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, this one I have listed for about ten dollars. All right, <laughs> another five thousand milliamp hour power bank, just like the one before that was blue. This one's gray. Uh, this one doesn't have a packaging, but I think I have it listed the same. So, uh, so for seven or eight dollars. All right, and next we have this Nostalgia My Mini Turkey Waffle Maker. So it makes you waffles that have kind of a turkey on them. So that's kind of cool. So it might not be something that sells until, you know, this Thanksgiving, but I have it listed for $13. All right, and then we have a couple packs of this Animal Crossing New Horizons uh, Nintendo Switch skin. So I have two of those. And I have... I have them each listed at $10. All right, and then here's that, that black pair of those Altec Lansing Nano Buds that I mentioned. So uh, I have this one listed for $11. All right, and then moving on to B1, we have a Brother uh, Label uh, cartridge. Uh, so I think five or $6 on that. Then we have another, another Luma strip. This one's also six and a half feet, but is in a different packaging. But but same idea, um, has a remote, you can change the colors or functions. I have that one uh, listed for $5. All right, and then we have a, an own branded um, rugged case with holster and rotating clip for your iPhone 11. I have it listed for uh, 6 or $7. All right, and then um, I have this coffee filter cup that just came out of a generic mainstays uh, I forget if it was a five, I think it was a five cup uh, coffee pot. The coffee pot itself was uh, broken, but uh, I took this out of it because it's something that can be parted out and sold separately. So I have that listed for I think six or seven dollars. All right, moving over to the A tower. Out of A4, we have this indoor outdoor uh, digital antenna. And um, first brand new open box item, uh, and I have that listed for thirteen dollars, I believe. All right, and then we have this three uh, container insulated uh, food container. So it has three different sections; they're all insulated, and it's actually really nice. Um, so I have that listed for twenty dollars. All right, and then we have this high impact heated massage belt with air pressure. This thing is actually really awesome. Um, but I have this listed at $28 or $29, I believe. Um, I think this is going to make someone really happy. All right, and then I have about 15 of these true wireless earbuds with charging case. And I have them listed for about, uh, I think, $12 each. All right, and then we have this Yada Mirror Road Cam. Uh, so this attaches to your mirror and then uh, has a dash cam behind it and it'll display the video from that here. Um, so kind of neat, but uh, that's $10. All right, then we have an LG Blu-ray player, a BPM 26. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, I have this listed for, I think, four, or, uh, 52 or 53 dollars. All right, then we have this Tuscany printed tailored cottage set. So it's a, like a window curtain set. So I have this listed for 10 dollars. Okay, and this next item I felt pretty intrigued by. So some of you may recognize this, some of you may have no idea what it is. But it's a cassette tape. Um, and this particular thing, you know, once cassette tapes kind of 
got phased out. There was adapters so that way people who still had tape players in their vehicle, you know, they could connect it to their CD player or whatnot. Well, this is actually a Bluetooth cassette adapter. So you can put this in your tape player and connect it to a Bluetooth device and play music through Bluetooth on this. So it's kind of crazy. But yeah, I never knew this existed, but uh, I have this listed for $15. All right, next we have, there's four sets of, of eyeglasses in here. They're like an easy twist where they're super bendable frames. Two of them have uh, magnetic um, polarized lenses that, that uh, go on them. Um, these are very, these are surprisingly expensive, um, but on eBay I'll probably only be able to get like thirty to fifty dollars each on them, maybe if I'm lucky. Then we have uh, a Walmart brand of Apple AirTag holders. So it's supposed to be a set of four of uh, these like leather keyring holders for your Air 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 Tags, um, but somebody only returned it with two. So I'm still gonna sell it with two. And I listed them just for five bucks. All right, then we have just a simple, uh, again, wall plug with two USB ports on them. Um, so like five bucks on that. All right, a few more battery banks. These ones are 2,500 milliamp hour battery banks. Uh, I believe these are like five or six dollars a piece. And then we have uh, some Canon ink. Uh, 276 XL, so $20 right there. And then here's a white pair of those Pro Buds V2. This packaging is a little more beat up, but uh, so I have those listed at I think $10. All right, and then we got another one of these uh, wireless earbuds, the ones that go that have the cord that goes around the back of your neck. Uh, this packaging is pretty beat up as well, um, but I think I have it listed for nine or ten bucks. Another power bank. There was a lot of power banks and earbuds in, in this uh, palette, uh, but another. This one's a Walmart branded, um, eight thousand milliamp hour, and I have it listed for five or six dollars. All right, and then we have a, a stainless steel mesh band with magnetic closure for. A Fitbit Versa 2 and have that listed for $5. All right, and another uh, LED light strip. This one's a monster brand. Um, basically the same thing, so $5. All right, next we have another wall plug. Uh, this one's just a dual USB port wall plug, so again, $5. All right, then we have a couple wireless chargers. Basically the same thing as the other ones, but these ones are slightly different, function the same, but so six or seven dollars each there. All right, and then we have a, a wireless digital meat thermometer for like a grill or something like that, where uh, it can work remotely, where you have the probe in the meat, and then the actual display you can have, you know, wherever you are, and it'll uh, send the signals to it to tell it what the temperatures are, so that way you don't have to be right beside it all the time. Uh, I think I have that listed for about $21 or $22. All right, and then we have another Yada road cam. This is a little bit different. It's more of a traditional road cam. Um, Functional the same though, so this is about $10. All right, and then the last bin for up here, we have a, a wireless mouse, um, about $8 or $9. We have another universal cassette adapter. This one's not Bluetooth. This one just uh, has a regular like audio cable. Uh, that one's ten dollars. All right. Then we have uh, so Ozark Trails uh, three knives. They're not fully knives. Um, they're just three knives. Uh, I have those listed for ten dollars. All right, another uh, wireless charger. This one's an, an own Walmart branded, five dollars. So there's a lot more items from the pallet that I didn't store in these bins, and I have them stored elsewhere. So let's go ahead and check those out. Remember this closet from a couple videos ago? Well, it's being used for inventory again, just a little bit more organized. 
So this one box has some bigger kitchen items, including some six can mini fridges, uh, an iced tea, iced tea brewer, uh, electric griddle, and a couple records, a couple of patio curtains, an electric kettle, and this six uh, container canister set, which I actually just sold uh, at the beginning of this video. So I have to get that shipped out. Also stored in here from the pallet are a handful of DVDs, some Halloween appetizer plates that are somewhere in here. I got to there. And then I have a box of items that are worth repairing if I can fix what is wrong. And then another box back here underneath the DVDs that uh, is basically just a bunch of various charging cables and other random stuff. Not worth selling online, but will hold on to to replace missing charging cords and things like that from other items. One last thing before I reveal the potential profit that this pallet has, I promise. Let me show you some screenshots of the items that I've sold so far from it. So here we have the first item that I sold, which was a humidifier for $25 plus shipping. And there is this electric kettle for $20 plus shipping. A pair of earbuds with charging case for $10 plus shipping. Here I sold a Canon ink cartridge for $30 plus shipping. For this sale I actually had two of these cordless rotary tools listed and a potential buyer contacted me and asked if I would sell both of them for uh, a certain price so he offered that to me. So I ended up selling the pair of them to him for $45 with free shipping. I sold this basic wall plug with two USB ports, uh, charger plug for $5 plus shipping. Then I had this hyper tough 12 volt cordless drill uh, that I sold for $18 plus shipping. Uh, not the greatest picture, but um, I had a set of car seat covers um, sold for $12 plus shipping. So here we have a Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood DVD that uh, I sold only for $1.09 and, and uh, plus shipping. Most of the DVDs that were in this palette, they were just you know, cheap DVDs that um, weren't worth much, so I was just selling them to, um, to get the amount of my inventory. This next item was pretty cool. It's my very first record that I sold. It was actually a double record for mm -hmm. the Stranger Things Special Edition soundtrack. Um, I sold it for $22 plus shipping. So here we have a Hart brand soldering iron. So you take one of the Hart uh, 20 volt batteries and you plug it into this and um, have a soldering iron. So I actually had a lot of interest in this and, and had a lot of different offers from different people. I went back and forth. Um, ended up taking a little bit less than than what I wanted, um, but sold it for twenty dollars plus shipping. And then here we have just a silicone case for a, a seven or eight inch tablet, uh, just sold for five dollars plus shipping. And then I had two of these Doom Xbox One games. They were factory sealed, and um, when I looked them up. They they weren't worth a ton. Um, but maybe I priced them a little bit too low because both of them sold fairly quickly. I think within um, within maybe 18, 20 hours. So this one sold for 9.25 plus shipping, and then this one sold for uh, $10 plus shipping. There, here we have another uh, pair of these Pro Buds V2 sold for $11 plus shipping. And then this is that 10 piece container set that I mentioned when we were in the closet that I just sold towards the beginning of this video. So it sold for $40 plus shipping. It weighed like 10 or 11 pounds, so it, it cost a decent amount to ship. I have the Beetlejuice movie on Blu-ray, sold for $249 plus shipping. And here's one of those 8 inch tablets with the pink case. Um, it sold for $55 plus shipping. And then I had one sale over on the Facebook marketplace that sold it was this uh, Goodyear um, Air Ratchet Wrench. It sold for $20 plus shipping. It was a long week and a half processing through all of those items from that pallet. But now let's talk about those numbers that you've been patiently waiting for. So again, my cost for this whole pallet was $743.65. Plus, I was at the gas to go pick it up. 
there were about 205 sellable items from that pallet. So that gives us about an average cost of $3.63. The 19 items that I've sold from the pallet so far made me $303 back of the $743. Now the number that you've been waiting for, the total potential sales from this pallet, I estimate to be $3,252. After eBay fees, it'll be around $2,800. So close to four times the amount that I paid for the pallet. Now that will definitely help boost the side hustle, and I'm all for that. Granted, there will be some items that sell for less due to offers that I accept, and probably some items that take you know months to sell. But either way, four times what I paid is an awesome profit. So what did you think of this palette? Should I buy another one from this place? If so, go ahead and drop this video a like, and maybe check out my eBay store. Thank you for checking out this video, and until next time, keep on flipping.